And while that's being sorted out, so the story that we have uh, with Nintex is that he left um, from after the end of the last game. Uh, I, I, it's it's been a frustrating season for him. Um, I, I mean, I, I hate to call people out on it, but you know, when you just leave, you know, at the same time, you kind of are calling the attention that I guess you're asking for. Uh, but he's the worst in the whole league this season when it comes to kill death ratio of anybody, whether they, no matter how many games they played. Um, and so you can imagine how frustrated he is uh, at uh, the way that the seasons turned out. Um, and then, you know, going up against Chimera crew to finish the season, it's, it's just rough. Uh, so I can, um, you know, you, you, you definitely understand the frustration, but at the same time, you know, don't want to call attention to it when by just leaving over there. I'll go ahead and fill you in on the details and information uh, in a second. Uh, so we have Ganon, Space, Johansson, Techno, and T-Mask for Chimera Crew. And for Commando Delta, it's Hendrix, SlayX, Zombie, and Crusader. They will be shorthanded. Uh, you may have picked up on what Chimera Crew was doing. They first round, they spelled out Happy. The second round, uh, game, they spelled out uh, uh, B-Day. And then the... Third round, they spelt out Zcot. Uh, so happy birthday, Zcot! <laughs> um, enjoy, and uh, know you're probably doing better things than watching uh, um, this right now because uh, it's uh, celebrating your birthday. <laughs> but uh, you know, when you're watching the the vod on this, happy birthday, <laughs> or the YouTube upload, however <laughs> anyone watches this. Uh, so Com Commando Delta is actually going to play short handed. Um, it looks like Nintex uh, has dropped out, so. Uh, they're going to continue with the four that they have. Um, Nintex just left, apparently. Uh, so they're probably, you know, as that, you know, develops and, and more information is uh, provided later on, uh, we can give you an update on that. But he is just gone. So... It's going to be Chimera Crew's 5 versus Commando Delta's 4. Uh, and what we'll do is let's go ahead and at the end of this round, we'll go ahead and pick the winner. Appreciate you guys uh, hanging on there. When the round is... Oh, Techno just turned away as somebody's coming up those stairs. That was Zombie. At the end of this round, we'll go ahead and pick the winner uh, so that it will give the opportunity for the winner to go ahead and send in the message uh, so we can um, give you the zero hour key. Ooh. Ooh just peeked out. Uh, and SlayX gets Techno. Slayx thinks somebody else might be over there. We'll nade it out. And T-Mask has a good angle on Zombie, who's... He didn't really do that much as much damage as it might have seemed. He's uh, Zombie's only down to 68 health. But now he's in a bad spot. And they've given him the opportunity to leave. Somebody did not cover the stairs. Hendrix will take out... Q, which is Johansson. Sorry, I'm going to cheat. Yeah, Johansson. And Space will get Zombie. As a zombie tries to come out of, through the ramp. Uh, I, I don't think Zombie heard the footsteps, but you, you, you kind of have to like expect what's going on. And, and, and realize when you hear all those footsteps coming out, they're going to be above you.
Slay X. He's gonna get charged by Ganon. He's gonna get down and get the support back. Team Ask will get taken out by Hendrix because Hendrix is behind to get both Ganon. And then Hendrix doesn't watch his back and gets taken out by uh, Space. Crusader's now coming in to throw the C4 to try to get. He doesn't get the kill on Space. What a nice C4. And Commando Delta shorthanded will take out all of Chimera Crew to take the first round away from Chimera Crew. It is 0 1. Space with two kills. And that's all for all of Chimera Crew. Commando Delta picking up the uh, five kills. And don't want this to come off as, as toxic. But, you know, if you take a look at the way Commando Delta was covered, was covering things, it looked like they were a little bit more organized that round. And you wonder how much of it is maybe, you know, addition by subtraction. They're shorthanded and they, they, they actually seem to have the defensive coverage a little bit better and well coordinated there. You know, it's, it's better coverage. You know, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes on these things. But, you know, it, it seemed like there was actually, we talked about in the last round how, you know, uh, like, uh, like Nintex was like running around in the middle of the hall. Also, keep in mind stream delay, so I'm only bringing it up right now. But the uh, Streamlabs bot should be announcing the winner now in chat, or have already announced it by the start of this round. When, when you guys see it. Amir crew carefully running about. I mean, we haven't seen Commando Delta really move from anywhere except for forfeiting the garage. I mean, we now have... Oh, space... Finds out where Zombie is. We can't find where Space is. There we go. Oh, he got through the window on the rappel. Yep, spotted right through the bathroom window. Gotta watch out for the rappel there. Since Crusader is watching through the stairs window, ready for any push through there. Hendrix is playing close to sight. Slayx is also decently close by. See, Johansson, he picked up the kill there as Techno gets a kill on Slayx, and Hendrix will get Techno back, and getting charged by Ganon. Ganon will go ahead and get the melee kill, and with less than a minute 20 left, they will have to defuse. And I think that's Ganon who's going to start the defuse. He does. And tying it up is Chimera Crew.
Space with three kills. Ganon, Johansson, and Techno with one kill each. Hendrix has four. He's the frag leader of this game. Use the planning table to find the bomb. And uh, first floor central vault is where you're going to see Commando Delta go next. Kind of curious why they didn't do this the first time, honestly. The, the second floor... Chairman's room is... It's a nice room to defend against, but it's not, it doesn't defend quite the same way as the uh, first floor central vault. You see Crusader is going to go cut that power, and he's got three of Chimera crew spawning right down there. We'll see. Okay, Crusader just abandons the garage as well. He's going to come back and regroup with his team. Shorthanded, that's probably not a bad idea. So just leave that and go back and join your team. See, Hendrix is just I mean, there. There. Once again, we're we're seeing Commando Delta hold the right points. Everything seems a little bit. Like they have a plan here for what to do. Crusader, he's got his light on. I don't... Yeah, see, that's why he's getting shot at there. The frag is not going to get anybody. The, yeah, the flashlight's what's giving him away, and T-Mask comes in from the top to get Crusader. When you're shorthanded, you can't blink first, and that's what Crusader just did there. He was trying to go after... I think he was just trying to avoid uh, them pushing up aggressively towards him. But he kind of put himself in the choke point when he should be taking on Chimera Crew when they enter the choke point. But SlayX will go ahead and get a kill on Johansson. And Zombie is getting shot at from the second floor, but all those shots are just hitting the bulletproof glass. That is T-Mask up there, by the way. He just took out Crusader a moment ago. And Techno will take out Zombie. Coming around the corner, looking into the vault. Then getting shot by Slay X, but none of those connect, and so Space will take out Slay X. It's going to be Hendrix left to defend against the remaining four Chimera crew members. He's got that sawed off shotgun, and you see that not taking any chances. Chimera crew sweeping the rooms, and Ganon comes in to get Hendrix in the predictable corner. Everyone on Chimera Crew is on the board. And for Commando Delta, four kills for Hendrix, one, or two for Slay X, one for Crusader. Zombie needs to connect. Not only does he have no kills, he has no damage. This is the first time uh, we we see Zombie uh, I Master enter the league. I'll hear just coming in in week six. About 30 seconds in, and we see Chimera Crew has started to make entry here, and Slay X, excuse me, Commando Delta just started to make entry here, and Slay X is, uh, just saw somebody and just let him go by. I, I, I mean, look, I get it, that's a tight angle, but. Just 
just didn't bother challenging that at all. And Crusader will get killed by T-Mask. And Techno will get Slay X. Zombie does get a kill there on Techno. There we go. Now he's got 123 damage as well. But this Rush is in there without checking across the hall. And Ganon will take him out. So Hendrix will relocate all the way to the front and we'll try to see if he can peek through the front glass. And above him, well, you're not looking up. As Ganon comes down from the top, he will take out Hendrix. It is 1-3 Chimera Crow. Ganon in space with four kills. Hendrix with four kills. I haven't seen Hendrix pick up a kill in the last two rounds. We know that Commando Delta's strength certainly not on attack. It's something that they've always needed to work on. But it's especially difficult, uh, difficult you would imagine, with uh, Commando Delta being shorthanded. They're playing in their weakest position, already weakened by being down one. Once again, though, this is essentially a stat series because the result of this game do not change the leaderboard in any way. It'll be the next game that the next uh, series that really matters. But this this is going to mirror crew from the beginning of this series to the end of this series was always going to end up in first place and Commando Delta is always going to be in fourth place. A good stack here coming in by Commando Delta. Hendrix getting the information should probably back up now. But that's not going to be possible with Slay X coming in there. And you see Slay X is going to try to peek out. Techno was probably expecting that because that setup took way too long. Now Techno is going to relocate behind the shield. And then Hendrix will turn around just in time. Throwing out the nade. He's going to get down in time just to avoid the, the shield. And then uh, the, the, the nade will actually take out Hendrix. <laughs> I, that was a... Uh, very well played by Techno, as he now comes out to take out Crusader, and Joey Ansel will get Zombie. Locking in round number five for Chimera Crew. Chimera Crew's up 4-1. Techno has six kills. Putting on a good show there in that last round. Coming up next, guys, is going to be the match that everyone wants to see the results of here. It's 1-9 at Mob. These two teams are fighting for second place. They, they're both looking for two wins, maybe three wins, to lock in that second place spot. And it is going to be something to watch. That's going to be coming up next.
Crusader breaks the glass and he just shook his camera. I don't know if that was an accident or what, but he just like shook his camera around like it was not totally expecting that glass to break or something. Layax will once again follow Hendrix with the shield. And then encounters Techno once again. This time Hendrix will win the fight on Techno, but only after he took out Slay X. Crusader will be crawling down. No, 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 just gonna he's gonna stay up there on the third floor. So Hendrix has picked up the AS Val off of Techno. And ooh, Crusader gets that shotgun kill off of space. That's been uh, Crusader's weapon of choice pretty much all season long. Hendrix is going to run all the way up and over, and Crusader... They're, they're, they're trying, they might be trying to regroup and push together. Unless Hendrix is going to jump down there in the middle, but... They've got a minute 35-ish seconds left. And they are regrouping, but they got to take on three. This is... I don't like this approach, because that back staircase opens up right into the middle of the hall. And you see, Ganon was just holding that a moment ago, but actually gave it up. Johansson's in the bathroom. The only reason that they're able to go in here is because no one's actually watching the hall itself. Now Johansson comes out. Johansson takes out Crusader. Ganon gets jo Johansson, his teammate, on the crossfire. Hendrix is untouched, but he's got 55 seconds to complete this. Now, Ganon's hearing noise. He thinks it's up above, but it's actually down below. I'm not sure why Hendrix is going down below. He's going to walk right underneath T-Mask. I don't know if T-Mask heard Hendrix, but Hendrix has only got 30 seconds left, and he's going to go right behind T-Mask. As soon as he opens that door, you would think... Yep, yep, now T-Mask hears the door. Here's the entry. Again, Hendrix is going to... They're going to try to go around this wall and see who gets who. Hendrix has a nice angle on T-Mask, but only does about 25 damage to him. Then circling around. Oh, T-Mask gets the jump on Hendrix there. 55 health. Going for the pistol kill. And T-Mask will win that. And the game for Chimera Crew. Chimera Crew finishes the inaugural season undefeated. Nobody has been able to successfully take down Chimera Crew for any game played this season. So, at the end of the season for Commando Delta and Chimera Crew, the regular season is over. Techno has seven kills in this last game. Ganon with four, as well as Space. Team Ask and Johansson with three. Hendrix has five kills. Slay X and Crusader has two. And Zombie has one. And... What a season that these guys have had. I mean, Chimera Crew has just shown time and time again how dominant they can be. Um, we've seen them, you know, in other events, just constantly. They probably have the most accolades of any other team that plays Zero Hour. Uh, and they just kind of continue on that trend here in the IEL. Um, just uh, once again, to kind of refresh your memory on the playoff picture. There it is. I'm oh, sorry, I was trying to find it. Uh, the playoffs as it stands right now is that Chimera Crew will be the defending team against Commando Delta in the best of three going into the playoffs. They will uh, defend in game number one. And then uh, based on how those results go, we'll determine um, who continues on into the grand final. For Chimera Crew being first place, uh, they will always be the defending team first. Uh, so 
when they go into the grand final, um, they will be first, uh, for they will be defenders. For Commando Delta, when they go into the grand final, um, they will be always on attack. They can't they can't defend first. Um, so it, depending on how that it, that's that's the way that that's the the the, the total opposites effect, if you will. Um, the fact that you have the highest and the lowest uh, in the standings means that Kamira Crews cannot be anything but defender first and Commando Delta cannot be anything but attacker first.